Hi, I'm Amy from Crew Body Works and this is another instalment for those of you who are living with sciatica or who have been living with, living with sciatica and are wanting some gentle exercises that you can do at home. Um, these are really easy to do at home. All you need is a mat and something to rest your head on. For this one though, um, you can put those aside because we're going to be on all fours. So, come into a um, four point kneeling position. So bringing the hands directly underneath the shoulders and the knees directly underneath the hips, okay? So not in here or not back here, try and find them directly underneath the hips. Have a think about what's going on with your back in this position, okay? Are you arched already in this position or are you pushing your lumbar spine down? Um, it may be that you're carrying a little bit of weight on the front so you need to really think about bringing your back up into a line position. Okay, so think about it. if the ceiling was to come straight down and float down, that I'd have a flat back to meet it. Okay, my head, I'm looking probably just a little way in front, so the back of my neck is in line. To start off with, we're just going to do a, um, a flexing exercise into the thoracic spine. So breathe in through the nose, and from this position, I want you to activate your abdominals. Drop down in the head, so you're looking down and behind you almost. Push up through your hands, so you bring yourself up through your shoulder girdle. Roll through the back, and then tuck under. So really important, tuck under your pelvis in this position, so you're creating this flexion all the way through the spine, here is tucked down. Breathe in here. As you exhale, start with your pelvis, coming back into a line position, Follow through the lumbar spine into the mid spine and coming back and looking back to where you started, where it's just a little bit in front with a nice flat back. Breathing in again, exhale, drop your chin. Find that flexion on your cervical spine first and then push through the hands. Reach up, reach through the back, tuck under. Breathing in here. So think about seeing the breath to the back of your body, okay, to the back of your ribcage, and then as you exhale again, taking the pelvis out, follow through the rest of the spine, coming back into a line position. So if you have got hypermobility in your joints and you're swinging round, try and have your elbows and so they're facing toward each other. And if you are finding that they're difficult from a hypermobility perspective, you can always bend them a little bit. Equally, if you're having wrist pain, you can come up onto your knuckles. So if your wrist in flexion, if it's difficult to put your wrist in flexion, so in this position, you can come up. You can also wrap up a towel and have it underneath the hands this way so they're in less flexion. So I'll show you what I mean here. So you can go onto your knuckles, kind of like a silver back looking type, which will obviously change the um, shape of the back slightly because I'm going in a higher position, but you still keep that nice and straight. So following on from here, breathing in, as you exhale, I want you to take one arm away. So it doesn't matter which one, but I want you to think about taking the opposite arm away, a leg from that, so you come out. If you feel that you've got the connection through your abdominals and you can, I want you to lift these up. Breathing in here, and then exhale, bringing them back down into centre. Checking that they're going back into the position where they started, over to the other side, reach away. Lengthen out. Reach and lift. Keep your eyes looking forward, bringing them back in again, back onto the mat, and back into the starting position. A couple of watch outs while you're doing this. If you're taking your leg away and you're kind of tilting slightly open and you're feeling really unstable, try and keep the hip down. So instead of having an open hip where the leg is up, you want to keep the hip, the hip down and the spine in the line position. And if you find that too much, then just start with just the legs. Okay, so if you feel that your body is not able to support having both the arms and the legs off the mat, you can start with just the legs. And equally, you can start with just the arms, lengthening the arm out and coming back in again. But what it does do is it gives, this, this is all about keeping that stability in the pelvis, making sure that if you thought if you had a pint or a glass of something, whatever your tipple, wine, milk, water, beer, whatever it may be, on your, on your lumbar spine, on your pelvis, that you wouldn't spill it, that's the idea. So when you're moving, you're keeping your body still and aligned and coming back to the centrally supported position with the legs directly underneath your hips 
and the hands directly underneath the shoulders. Okay? So that's what we call Superman, for obvious reasons, and Pilates. So give those two things a go. Cat stretch, getting into some flexion, really articulating through the spine, and then coming back with control into a lined flat back position, and then stabilizing through the trunk and the pelvis as you take your legs and arms, or just your legs or arms away, and creating that sense of stability through your abdominals and the connection with the back of the body to keep you stable. So give that a go. There's a couple of other videos that you can do um, either before this or after. Um, that gives you a few other gentle exercises that you can try as well.